Hey, Scholars, Mr. Byrne here. So this is kind of part three of our tutorial today. And this is going to be the part where um, after you've taken your image, I want to show you how to quickly edit it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your, your card into the card slot. Make sure it's card slot, not the CD um, card slot or whatever. Don't want to have to deal with that. Um, but yes, um, so you're going to open up Photoshop. So if you go to Applications, go Locate Photoshop, you should be fairly familiar with this process right now. I already have it open, which is right here. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your image. So you're going to go to File, Open, or Command O, and you're going to locate your image. Uh, I do have a couple of specific things I would like you to do with your image. All right, so let's go find the image that we took. So it's under DCIM, 100 Canon, and um, I set the camera to JPEG, so they should pull up fairly easily. Here we go, JPEG. And there it is. And we're going to open up that image. Okay, so based off the rubric, we want to make sure that this has a shape and or a pattern for the best results. And um, what we're looking for here is we want to, we should be able to clearly see the water worms in the um, refraction here in the little lenses that we created and they should be crystal clear as you can see here they're not crystal clear so let's go look at another piece and see if we can find one that is a little better all right so yours is like I said yours is going to be in a JPEG uh, I might have to pull up a let's see here I think the last one I took let's take a look at this one so this is a raw file, so it's going to open up in another program. That's fine. Yours is going to open up right into Photoshop. That's a little better. Um, we want to be able to see. So like right here, you can see that it has the, the nice clarity um, of the uh, glass shards, little water worms underneath them. And that's what we're looking for there. All right. So like I said, the better the integrity of the, um, the water drop, the better one. So you can see here, it's nice and clear here. This loss of integrity of this water drop it's not so clear um, you're gonna want to um, make sure that your water drops are all in good shape all right so once you have that um, you need to crop your image to a four by six aspect ratio I don't care if it's landscape or portrait you can make that call uh, and you want to fill the frame with your your shape as much as you can so using the crop tool I'm gonna crop this down to a four by six aspect aspect ratio. Make sure that you choose the W time H times resolution option here and then 4 by 6 by um, 300 DPI. You should be familiar with that. And then I'm going to go with a, a landscape option here. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit and I want to fill the frame with as much as that as possible. So let's see here we go. Good. Put that smack dab right in the middle to fill the frame. Good. All right. The second part I would like you to do is I'd like you to add your signature watermark. Um, you should have this as a PNG saved on your thumb drive. If not, you'll need to recreate it. Um, you can access those signatures through the, um, the NAS device. You should know the, the password for that. And I would like you to choose a color from your image to incorporate into as your brush color. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select the brush. And I'm going to choose to find my signature watermark. And go right up here where I can choose my different brushes I have available to me. Nope, spinning will of death. That must have been too much of a... There we go. And I want to find the one that has my signature. There it is right there. Number 478. Oops, went right by it. Let's go back down here. Here we go. There it is. Okay, so like I said, I want you to choose a color from your image here. I like blue. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to grab the water dropper tool, which is right there, fifth item down. And I'm going to choose a nice dark blue here. I'm going to put it somewhere that's contrasting um, with that. So I'll get this nice white spot here. It looks like a nice spot for a watermark. And you can see here in my foreground color is now blue. I'm going to go back to that brush. And using the bracket keys, I can resize this a little bit. And there we go. There's my signature. Save this as a JPEG, so file, save as. Title this, Water Worms, your initial, and the date. So today is 0419, 
2017. And of course, put it onto your thumb drive. I'm going to put mine onto my desktop. And then click Save. Your JPEG quality needs to be 12. And then click OK. All right, and that's it, guys. This is what you should be submitting into Google Classroom by the end of class. It's a pretty simple, just a quick crop and then a signature watermark, and you should be good. Um, have a great day, scholars, and I'll see you on Monday.